the eyes the ears albeit were different oh because, you know, the, that's the same the thing crystallized effect of this guy apparently the gaming beaver um i was told that or at least from some things that i saw multiple people commented on a video i made about it saying that he debunked it so i want to go over that and see what his reasoning for debunking it is so we're gonna jump into that take a look last night i sat down with excited to look over a guy called forrest galante's new video about extinct tasmanian tigers okay excited the guy that sent the photo through a bunch of people first and the story was awkward and the guy seems suspicious yeah yeah no i agree with you there was some weird stuff but apparently this guy has some proof or something like that something. i appreciate that you guys sent every photo but they didn't there are clearly photos in this sequence that are missing in total there are 62 photos missing that's a lot of images in between 62 of the tasmanian tiger if it all happened that same night if we believe that this even happened okay so he does go into picture a of him because i'm like oh no i want to like 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 it says image 6630 he has the image sent straight through so that will have all of its saved data on it so all he needs to do is just like check the metadata that's him walking along the gotcha fence. so sadly this is i think we like for it to be alive but i will wait for the absolute proof i agree the most like big footy of all the photos but it's the first one that came up in order which makes sense because i think it was your last photos did you notice something there what but it's called image 6630 yeah yeah, so all of them should be 662 or 661 or even 65. Ah, the yeah, number yeah, yeah. shouldn't go up, right? But if you look at that, 6642. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, maybe he got it mixed up. Maybe that was the first image you took. He's taken a four, like 12 pictures before this one. I didn't even think about and that. And it's in the wrong order? Well, it was an iPhone. I don't have an iPhone, so I don't know how it comes up on that end. Um, the kid was really specific about details during the 30 second encounter, including how his father was holding a flashlight and then he could give the detail about the flight. Exactly. Well, think about this. When you are, usually when someone lies about something, they give too much detail about something. If they've had time to think about it, they will remember every little detail and be like, oh, and then he was doing it. When you're actually in the situation, a lot of times you don't remember a lot of detail. If you got hit by a car and the guy sped off and you got a quick glimpse of the guy, most of the time you're only going to get basic details. You're not going to be like, he was wearing a purple cardigan with a, a, ne a, a, a Gucci neckerchief. You're not going to remember that stuff. Um, Arcosuchus has several threads on X that almost mirror this guy's pictures. His replica thousand model with key features matching the pics. The vid goes over it to an extent. Gotcha, gotcha. And it looks a lot like a coyote. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like he definitely took a picture of something. Whether or not it's a model or not, that's the problem. I watched the take last night. It was pretty funny. Gotcha. Hey, Keaton, how you doing? Um... Why can't we all just hope and say it's real early humans F things up? They were dangerous. They weren't. Yeah, I mean, people did. Yeah, hopefully it's real. You can't just say, yes, something is... Unless you have proof of something, you can't just make bold claims. That's that's a dumbass take. I'm sorry. But it's a dumb take to be like, without actual proof, I'm going to say, yeah, that's... You can... That's dumb. That is a dumb take. You can't do that. You have to have proof of things before you make a claim. Otherwise, people just pick it up and run with it, and you get a bunch of crap. Wildlife Cookie also confirmed with force that Zach never sent the original photos, and he said that it would be at the end of the video. Yeah, true. Not a dingo. You're basically going to get a flashlight, and basically, boom, you're going to get hit, and you're going to forget. Probably, yeah. Exactly. I was saying the same thing. As a Tasmanian Tiger fan, this photo makes me happy. I'm a fan of Tasmanian Tigers too. I hope that this is legit. But you can't just be like, look at this, and like, there's got there's got to be skepticism. You can't take everything 100% seriously every single time. Uh, most 16-year-olds nowadays don't even know what they ate this morning. You got you to gotta go with the young people jokes. Yeah, 
young people are dumb, I know. <laughs> Not much, Keaton. I'm doing all right. Um, people back then want to bring unlike today. Early humans, but yeah. Can someone actually take a photo of their dog with the iPhone 11 at right. night? Possibly. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Absolute rubbish. What happened here? Like, what? What is? What am I seeing here, Zach? Flashlight is coming up at him from the side from my dad. Okay. No, it's right in it's, front. It's right in front of him. What That's what I was thinking about? too. <laughs> you, you that straight away. <laughs> I, the best. I don't know exactly there how. There probably are extinct, much unfortunately. This looks like a Tasmanian tiger. Oh yeah. That, exactly. that is the last footage ever taken of the Tasmanian tiger. Oh, no, that's a dinosaur. <laughs> that's the last footage. That's the last one. Yeah, right. Using the back legs don't like match a real thylacine, yeah. it matches a doll. Yeah. I've, I've seen brief pictures yeah. of that doll. You're right, it does have a bit of that snake, like the jaws came off the bottom. Like the nose is just like cut off for some reason. So if I look at the metadata on this photo, it says April 22nd, which is the day after you guys contacted me or, or Henry did. So I'm wondering, did you guys... Like, do you have an explanation for that? So I think I sent it to him. Yeah. And he copied it. <laughs> gotcha. Something got lost in the data transfer. All right, so... Yeah, the creation date, that maybe modification date might have changed. So I tested this with an image I already had, made a copy of it, and would you believe the created date didn't change, but the modified date did change. Hmm. So I think it's pretty safe to say that... What he's saying is rubbish, and this was pretty much created. Yeah, the missing the nose day. is weird. So sadly, this is the most, like, Bigfooty of all the photos, but it's the first one that came up in order, which makes sense, because I think it was your uh, last photo. It, so I'm going to pull file, up the next one now. And spread oh, look! Over. Yeah, this one possibly. Copy. This one's got, in brackets, one. And this is even later. This is 6661. This is so much after the other one. <laughs> True. How close did he get to the bloody thing? And this is 6689. I appreciate that you guys sent every photo. But they didn't. There are clearly photos in this sequence that are missing. In total, there are 62 photos missing. That's a lot of images. I didn't even notice that. Taking pictures of the Tasmanian tiger. If it all happened that same night. If we believe that property. this even happened. Ha. Where's didn't know that. Where's the stripes? Yeah, there's no stripes there at all. What, what I find funny is that the film grain... In, on this image especially is bigger in the bottom left here's something that i heard too very recently what straw was saying about it being ai um now that ai is a thing anytime anyone thinks anything is faked instead of saying photoshop everyone says ai photoshop still exists dummies with pictures taken grainy still exist it doesn't necessarily have to be ai if the photo isn't legit so could it be ai i guess but like maybe they did some touch-ups with ai i don't know but to say everything is ai now it's not necessarily true and because people will check to see if it's ai when it comes to that it's not ai they'll be like oh look see the photo's legit there's other ways to doctor an image pitch me here or like tell me what's tell me what to do here please tell me what to do here that i can make the video Please. <laughs> yeah, just give me something, man, because you're bullshit. I don't know. Yeah, he is. Think, he is really still very digging skeptical. there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he is skeptical. Making content like this, you have to lean into it being real, right? Like, True. You know, he does have to lean into it. And ghost, ghost yeah. things that happen. You yeah. have to be like. I think he's just trying to play. Yeah, I, I, I have my um DSLR set up, and it's like hooked in, and it was working, and then I guess the battery probably died or something. They're two, uh, so they're similar image file sizes too. Yeah, Both everything sides, seems like weird. I am skeptical, but ah, oh, it looks real. <laughs> Plausible proof that these are not AI generated. Yeah, I didn't think they were. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when excitement. Yeah, I don't know. The AI is kind of weird. Because like I, I literally saw these pictures. Uh... Wait, you've seen these pictures? Oh no, my art is going around. I like to do art of extinct animals. Wait, 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 like... wait, wait. And this ended up leading us down a rabbit hole. Okay, this is what I heard about. The entire thing. The guy excited was talking about goes by the handle Archisuchus. And he makes these photorealistic dinosaurs and prehistoric That's creatures. pretty cool. He makes mannequins and stuff like that. Like puppets, real life things. He'd already tweeted about underwear. his Forrest Galante video about the thylacine and mentioned that the images in there didn't look as realistic as his. 
And that's when he made this post, uh, showcasing his actual Thylacy model, and that these photos looked way more real. Oh, that's pretty cool. That he had been sent. And we'll very rightly so, they do, because it is actually so a real thing. However, something this. very interesting came of scrolling through his... I mean, I don't know, why would he get hate? He's not the one who did it, though. And that was this image of him making the head of the Thylacy, Tasmanian Tiger, with its mouth agape, looking very similar to another image we had seen before. So I quickly jumped into Photoshop, oh. moved things around, matched things up, and would you believe the teeth, the eyes, the ears, albeit were different. Oh. Know the animal's ears into there. I don't know about you. Flicking between the two images kind of shows that, yeah, oh my God. whoever had made these hoax images had used oh. this as a base, and then digitally painted over the top of it that's the same the thing crystallized effect over it as well we've proved that at least one of these images yeah i'll watch that as soon as i get done with this we'll watch that one gape and actually turned out to be the one image that this zach guy whatever he's called didn't submit to forest and forest had actually already found it all right let's check this out real quick is this arcus of on may 14th Forrest Galante posted an interview with a man who says he saw a wild thylacine in Tasmania, and he had pictures. These pictures showed an incredibly lifelike animal, seemingly in motion, and very clearly a thylacine. Almost gotcha, thank you. Though, people who were familiar with the art of ex-user Arkisukis said, wait a minute, this guy posted pictures of a realistic, scale model, poseable thylacine just yesterday. Coincidence? Well, Arkisukis wants you to think so. The artist immediately started a oh. campaign to distance themselves from the claim sighting, employing everything from accusations uh -oh. to mockery. But in our opinion, they really just made the case against themselves. In attempting to replicate oh. one of the pictures, again for the sake of mockery, they gave us a glimpse of just how perfectly the stripe placement and anatomy of their model matches the animal that was photographed. Oh my gosh. And you might be thinking, well, doesn't that just mean they made a perfectly accurate thylacine model? And the answer is no. Thylacines have a notoriously low heel compared to other digitigrade mammals, something that Archisuchus' model did not capture. And in the original picture, the pushing angle of the back leg suggests an inappropriately high heel that matches the model perfectly. In addition, this photo of the thylacine's oh jaw struck many as off, somehow. It doesn't quite capture the look of a yawning thylacine as we've seen in other pictures. It does, however, perfectly match the profile of Archisuchus' model. Other things to note, Arkisukis is from the Chicago area, same as oh, the man. They frequently post lifelike images of other extinct species models with text suggesting Bro. they encountered them in real life. Though it should be said, this isn't an attempt to deceive so much as the posts themselves are actually just a part of the art. And they frequently use a combination of low light and blur effect that strongly resemble those found in the thylacine photos. Yeah. This creates a loss of detail that lends Absolutely. at a Absolutely. This is... This is like the nail in the coffin, 100%. It's really hard to pick apart. The individual in the interview is asked for details of their travel to Tasmania and the place of the sighting itself. Here, their testimony really fell apart. They didn't know the names of airports or cities, incorrectly referenced places on the mainland in relation to Tasmania, and seemed to refer to notes on their computer screen whenever they became confused. They described a direct flight from O'Hare International Airport to Hobart in Tasmania, a route which doesn't exist, and the location given for the sighting is roughly twice as far from the city of Hobart as they claim to have driven. They were clearly improvising some details. Oh, this individual never went to Tasmania. And perhaps most damning of all, the day before this character reached out to Forrest Galante offering to share these photos, Arkasukis posted on X, responding to the prompt, Name one thing better than sex. They answered, A living thylacine in 2024. They had probably just gotten back from taking the now famous photos. Oh my god. So what happened? We think they'd secured the interview with Forrest shortly after reaching out, but no sooner than April 23rd. They must have sat around waiting for it to make the news, but after two weeks or so had passed without any buzz, they got tired of this waiting. This is it. Beginning on May 8th, this they is started it. to share images of their life-size replica with the public, showing it in its full glory on May 13th. Unfortunately for them, Forrest published his interview the day after and they had seemingly already given themselves away. 
So, a scramble to save face ensued. This is what we're alleging. And while I don't condone the attempt at deception, Arkasukas almost deserved to pull one over on us. Their art is incredible. Seriously, you need to go check out their content on X. Sketch art, lifelike physical models, effective and engaging photos of these models, written narrative content, Arkasukas is a truly talented artist and storyteller. And not enough good can be said of their life-size thylacine model. Guys, it is so good. Good enough, I believe, that for a minute it raised the whole world's pulse and made us think we'd seen a real thylacine. Yeah. Go check them out. And go there with love and patronage for their art only. The jury's still out on whether or not they tried to do something silly. And if that ends up being the case, let's all forgive it. Because my... Forgive it? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't feel the same way. I mean, don't hate the guy, but like... That's basically... that. That's it. That's it. There is no doubt in my mind. That's it. Can, can you really doubt that?